After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I grew up here in El Paso, left when I was about 18, joined the military. Uh, what I've learned in working here is uh, the easiest way to do this is to respect everyone that comes in and out of this building, be it uh, your fellow officers, of course, the inmates. I mean, it just goes a long way real fast. El Paso County has been busy. Every agency's here. Border Patrol's here, DEA's here, the sheriffs are here. Hey, what's, what's up, man? What's up? How you been, man? I was doing perfect until I went for a pack of smokes and I stopped by the cops and arrested for possession of marijuana. Yeah? One joint, buddy, one joint. You haven't been here in a while, man. I you know, I was doing so good. I was, I was clean and everything. Saturday was my birthday. OK, let him take your picture. I'll talk to you in a minute, man. And remember, I'm that nigga Bob, y'all. Woo! Uh, I've been knowing him for like five years. He was here on federal charges for like a year and a half, so he was a pretty good trustee for us here on this floor, actually. Why are you here today? I'm here because I like to smoke weed and uh, <laughs> against the law. If you ever need a super trustee, man, I'll be in the area. All right, well, your charges aren't that severe, so you're not uh, going to be well, here that long. I'm on probation, though, man. Oh, so they're going to violate you. Yes, ma'am. Can you believe it? Oh, Robert. I'm such a cool guy. Yeah. What happened, though? I was just walking down the street, man, and the cops said we were tree walking, so he stopped us. Uh huh. And you know, and I had a joint in my hand, and I was like, well, I gave it to him. Well, he what's this? What's jail. the simple assault you got? Oh, because I went like that when I was in the half in the halfway house. Yeah. And the guy didn't like it and called the cops on me. Yeah. Uh, well, it's only a class C, so it's not that bad. Yes, ma'am. So then you're gonna be here for a while. Yes, ma'am. All right. We'll yes. we'll pull you down here. All right. Thank so you. So you can help us out. Thank you. Samantha, uh, you're here for possession of marijuana, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. How long have you been smoking marijuana? About a year. About a year? And you were talking to me earlier, gives you good conversations? Yes. <laughs> That's why you smoke weed, because a good conversation? Uh, cool. And what do you do for work? Um, I dance. <laughs> dance? Uh, Exotic dance at Jaguars. Oh, yeah? How long have you been doing that? About two weeks. Two weeks? How do you like that job? <laughs> the dancing's not fun, but the money is. But the money is? Is that something you're planning on doing long term? Or no. <laughs> is this temporary? This is just me being young. <laughs> just you being young? It's like on your bucket list? <laughs> stripper at some point <laughs> in El Paso, Texas at Jaguars. She probably makes a lot more than us. <laughs> <laughs> what's, a, what's a good night at uh, Jaguars? Good night is $900. $900? Like, did you take $9, home? Yes. Chimney Christmas. <laughs> Officer Ibarra, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make some big bucks and then put it aside and get your education? Yes, Very that's good. what it was about. <laughs> All right, Samantha, I'm going to give you my $300, OK? That's a cool t-shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Are you sure you can use the phone? Yeah, go ahead and use the phone right down Thank there. Thank you. You're welcome, Samantha. Good luck. This gentleman here, he uh, just came from Juarez. He said that the cartels assaulted him because he wouldn't work for the cartels. They cut up his ear and they started shooting at him, so he ran. He said he made his way over here to the border for safety. OK, Barasaki, when the Border Patrol caught him, they had, he had charges in El Paso from 2007, unrelated. OK, senor, pues que bueno que está aquí. All right, Pam. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Later. Back to jail. All right, come on over here. All right, let me see your hands. So are you going to bond out, or you're not going to bond out? Yeah, but not to know exactly. Who got you into that job? Sadly, it's going to be a bad influence, but it was my sister. Oh, uh, is she doing that too? Yes. How long has she been doing it? 
She had done it a lot longer than me since she was probably illegally 17. And mm. She loved it, though. Does she? Well, it's entertainment, I guess. All right, well, good luck, okay? I'm going to take you to the other side. Yes, All right, you. Robert, stand right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, hands behind your back, guys. You're going to walk straight ahead to the other side, okay? We've got a lot of people who try to bring drugs across the bridge today, and we have a lot of possession of marijuana under two ounces. It takes a lot of manpower for that little charge. All right, you two go in there. Come on over here. So, uh, any lessons from being in jail for the first time? Don't smoke weed when you walk. <laughs> How about don't smoke weed at all? How's that? Not while it's illegal. Yeah. Don't smoke weed while it's illegal. All right. Good luck, young lady. Thank You have to be booked in first. What's all the scratches and stuff on you? I'm a nurse. Too. Are you? Uh, Nurses should not be intoxicated. Come on, right here. Where did they pick you up at? Went to the bar. You went to the bar? Yeah. I was just sad because I was by myself. Are you a working nurse right now? Oh, yeah. OK, well, this is what's going to happen. They're going to book you in. You got to be ID, fingerprinted. I'm fixing to throw up. No, don't throw up now. Nah. I think I'm fixing to throw no, up. No, don't. Give me the can here. Look here. Stop. Up, up, up. Ooh, I've got to move, 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 move. Ooh, I've got to get out of here. i got to go home. Vicky, nothing coming out. Come over here, Vicky. Vicky, you listening to me? Oh, yeah. OK, let me get you done, OK? How long is it going to take me? It's not going to take long if you quit trying to act like you're going to throw up. We just have to patch it out. Ooh, girl, I like that. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Spread your legs. Girl, you don't know enough. Don't make me do that. Baby look good when she back there. It ain't like that, Vicky. Vicky. And are you slowing down your own process, OK? So so don't back it up no more, all right? I ain't, all right. Backing, I ain't backing it up now, Big Daddy. All right, put that hand on the counter. We got to let you soap up a little bit. Look, I got to go to work in the morning. All right. We got nerves. OK, we'll get you out by in the morning. All right. OK, watch out. Watch the door. I don't know. It shouldn't be much longer. OK, just go ahead on in there and have a seat. Hey, what's going on? Hey. What's up with that Vicky girl that y'all brought here? Yeah, she was at uh, Saltgrass right there at the restaurant, and she was causing disturbance. So. We got there. She's pretty much really intoxicated, and she she couldn't she didn't know she, where she was or. It's back and forth. I mean, yeah. she hated me, loved me, hated her, loved her. So it was yeah, a couple of times. She's been cooperative on and off. So what are her charges going to be? Public intoxication and disorderly conduct language. Okay. So she was using some uh, profane language at the hospital. Yeah. And the nurses were offended. Uh, yeah, it's overall the rest of the hospital, you know, patients inside there. There was lots of families in there tonight with it being Saturday. Being wow. difficult and, and loud. Being loud. Yeah. Wow. Difficult and loud is all. Thankful. All right, thank you. Guys. What were you intoxicated on? I drank like three beers. I'd been at the bar, and I, I said my blood pressure felt bad, so I went over there, and then I got to aggravate him with him, and so I. And I gotta tell you with it. I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm a nurse. I'm not gonna. You're a nurse? Yeah. Okay, you came in for public intoxication. Yes. And disorderly conduct. I did not get that. Disorderly conduct language. Okay. I probably did that. That's $200 a piece. Do you know your credit card information? I have cash, too, with okay, that. But, okay, I understand that. You're gonna have to have, you have to call somebody, okay? They're gonna have to go to Port Arthur Police Department. And they're gonna have to pay your bond. So you're telling me I cannot pay my way to get out of here? No, ma'am. Their bond has to be paid in Port Arthur. Y'all have y'all arrested, right? They, they arrested you. The city of Port Arthur did. Okay? Where do I have to go to do this? Where okay. everybody is no. on the no, no, phone no. and everywhere. Look, right. Okay. They're down here, listen to me. Listen to me. When this the... makes no sense. Okay. When they get done with the phone over then here. Then I've got to sit in that freaking cell again. 
for hours upon end. You're going to have to sit there until somebody goes down and pays your bond. Okay? Yeah. Go get on the phone down there, down yeah. the counter. Dial 90 your number. I'm at the Jefferson County Jail. Yes, the old who's got the town at 69. Okay, you got to go. You've got to go to Port Arthur Police Department. Go pay 400 bucks. When you get here, I can get out and I'll give you 400 bucks back. My cash and everything is there. Uh, are you going to do it or what? Because if you don't, then I'm going to sit here like for two days or whatever. Billy, you idiot. Look, you better come down and get me. All right, bye. Hey, Vicky. Hey. What'd you find out? They're going to come get me. Billy's coming to bump me out. Thank God. Who's Billy? Oh, he's my ex boyfriend. Ugh. That's what got me in trouble with all this. I shouldn't have been a drinking, but hey, you know. Does he drive fast? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he might be here in an hour then. All right. Thank you, Vicky. Why not put me word? Don't fall down when you drink. That's pitiful. Hopefully you learned something from this. All right. All right. Have a good night, Vicky. I'm asking you a question. Do you have anything on you? I'm talking to you. You got anything else on you? You're stripping me down, so you I'm find asking out. you. Do you have anything on you? Talk to my lawyer. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's fine. That's fine. My arm. That's fine. You okay, Juan? We'll check and make sure you got nothing on you. Oh, you got turns in my left arm. You can walk, though, right? Turn around, sir. Come on. Over here, Juan. Damn. So what started was that here. it was a suspicious vehicle. Mm -hmm. I was called down to the vehicle inside a field with mm -hmm. plants, and mm -hmm. it, was, it was supposed to be corn. When I get off, I'm asking the subject to get off the vehicle, and he's telling me, now, do I want you to come over here and say several words. Yeah, five, 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 Watch, he was complaining about his... Down, down, down. Right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There he is. What's going on? What's doing? Get the chair. How's it going, sir? What happened? Well, he might be. Get the chair. Just sit up. Just keep him in the chair for right now. His vitals are good. So, yeah. His vitals are good. What was he arrested for? Uh, he was arrested for, uh, for resisting and failure of ID because he would not tell me his name and date of birth. We heard him yelling. Uh, what was that going on out there? Uh, he was just upset. He didn't want to like, ID himself, and he wanted to fight me. He also threw a beer can at me. And... He was drinking, right? Oh, yes. And then when we get off here, he said he wanted to come here and he was going to beat everybody up. He's just been a combative. Yes, sir. Why am I stranded for this? Are you strapped down? For your safety. You collapsed. I'm not violent. Well, you were uh, er violent. earlier. You, you acted a little bit violent, so that's the reason you're here. No, 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 no. We'll get you out in a bit. I'm close to the house. Just leave me alone. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's just sleeping it off. He'll be all right. Sarge! Sarge, can I get help? I've got a cramp in my leg, sir. On this leg, I've got a cramp. On, on this leg, por favorcito. Which one? But this one on my right. right leg. Yes, sir, por favor. Let me stretch it. Put me in the hole. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Okay. I'm going to loosen up the one leg so See, you can stretch yes, it out. Sir. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Por favor. Okay. Stretch it uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take you out. Okay. You already know what happens if I take you yes, out. Yes, yes. You're going to come right back in. Stand up. Okay. Check out the one more. There you go. All right. Let's go. Come on. All right. Stand up. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Right, come on. Come on. Oh. All right. There you go. Oh. Come on. Right in here. Put your hands up. Okay, I've been planning up some cramps. Medical did clear him. Now that he's had a little bit of chance to cool off, he can go ahead and uh, sleep it off. Juan? Yes, sir. How you feeling? Do you remember? You fainted on us? Uh-huh. You're intoxicated. You were yes, drunk. Sir. 
Yes, sir. How much did you have to drink that night? I uh, can recall. I know I had some beers, but okay. I can recall. But I know this is not my first rodeo. I know that. I know how you all So you've been here before? Yes, sir. What were the other times you were here for? Well, DWIs. DWIs? DWIs, yes, sir. But I don't go to town to our drinking or to the streets. I was a block away from my house. Are you going to learn Just from this? Chill. I have to learn. I want to be a grandfather, so I've got to change. I'm glad you're doing better, all right? I apologize Lopez. for the trouble it caused. I know that I did wrong. I, I just wanted to time out. I timed out myself. The only, the only person that's going to change this is you, Lopez. Myself. Okay? I that. Yes, sir. Apologize. You have a good night. You too. Now, seeing him sober, you can tell he is pretty aggressive. As much as I would like for him to change, this probably won't be his last time coming here. Why are you here again, Daniel? Just here for tickets, sir. Tickets? Tickets. Yeah. Well, tell me what happened to your arm there, man. My arm right here? Yeah. You know, just life, man. Caught my girl cheating, you know. And how did you catch her? Well, the messages, you know, talking to the guy. You caught her yeah. texting or talking? Texting and talking. And talking? What did, what did you hear? What is that? Nah, I don't want to get into the details, you know, just. She's not that I, I love old girl, you know, you know, she's a very independent woman, you know. She don't need no man in her life. She don't life. need no man in her life. But like I told her, man, let me know. She wants to be with me real. If not, I, I better go, you know, because this is me mentally, you know. They like to ease my pain, you know. That's the only way I could find a way to ease my pain. And what it does, what does it do? Just like it releases your it stress? It releases my stress, my your pain, mind off my of agony. It. Yes, sir. Have you ever thought of like doing something else when you're in pain? Like working I, out, uh, take a run? I take a walk around. There you go. You know, but it's like, I'm just breathing air, you know? Like there's times in life that you just want to give up, you know? But like, you shouldn't. So you told her pretty much to let you know if you're, she's that with she you wants or not. to be with me or? Let me go. That's <laughs> pretty mature on your part, man, because you didn't act up, you didn't get no family violence or anything. No. You just no, told her like a man, you know, like, hey, you know what? So how long ago did this happen that you caught her cheating? Almost a month. A month? You know, and I'm still talking to her, because that's, I said... That's some true love. It's like, I just, like, I love her, man. She's a wonderful woman. She's beautiful, she you treated know. you good. Inside out, she's smart. She's everything you know, a guy needs, you know. She ain't no hoe. And I'm grown now. I'm not okay. a youngster no more, you know. I see things in life different. Right. Thank you for understanding my pain and yeah, of course, my, the, you know, life. Go ahead and put your shoes on if you want. Uh, you'll meet somebody else, man. Don't hurt yourself, man. Life is precious. OK? Yes, sir. They're going to put you on the court list. That way, you, right, tomorrow morning, they'll go to court. You're going to wait over here. Go all the way to the end and have a seat in the bench. I'll go right now. Come on up here, man. It's just a bunch of tickets, man. Yeah, man. Most of your tickets okay. are uh, for alcohol, open containers. We got a few of those. Uh, I guess drug paraphernalia. Were you in possession of maybe I'm something? Pipe, tobacco pipe. Uh, littering, dumping. Did you throw something? They see you throw something or something? No. <laughs> they just. You gotta pick up your trash, put it in the man, trash I can. I always throw my trash. They just write tickets like crazy, man. In case of an emergency, do you want us to contact anybody? <laughs> my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah. You had a... I had to. <laughs> you were thinking of something. Yeah, and... I was going to say my girl, but no. Why, are you guys not on good terms right now? Is yeah, that what yeah. but like, I told her I want a relationship. She keeps on saying yes, but she keeps on booing. So you want the real boat. deal? Yeah. Well, you want that tuxedo? <laughs> you want the honeymoon? Yeah. <laughs> Long walk to the park? Yes. Never had that, you know. Give it some time, it might work out. We'll see how she's going to miss it. <laughs> not, not me not being there. True. The house tonight. <laughs> Plenty of women out there. Oh, no. Ain't no stress over dress. No. <laughs> and again, if you're going to bond out or anything, your bond amount right now is uh, $4,226.30. $4, that's, OK? That's money I don't have, so. Just do the I'll time be, rather than I'll the money. I'll be in here for a day or two, you know. If you need to make another phone call, you can yes, make sir. another phone call. Yes, you got it. You know, he's going to have to either pay the fine or do the time. He was talking about his girlfriend. She's not ready, but it seems like he's ready. 
He's ready to do that settling down, take that tuxedo jump. She has to be ready, though. Exactly what I told him. Exactly what I told him. You know, it takes two. Like you said before, it takes two to tango. So, uh, you know, if you guys aren't on the same page, plenty of women out there. He got a good hit in your shoulders, though. He's, he just hurt. That's it. Can't be all right. Yeah. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out. Just get me out. I've been working here at Randall County over five years. My hometown is Desmouth County, Hereford. One of the best things I love about this place is uh, the food and how friendly everybody is. You just can't find anyone nicer, better than Texas. Hi, what do you got? Oh, she's in the car. She's pretty small, kind of feisty, I guess. Who is it? Uh, Amy. Amy. She's under arrest for an outstanding warrant for public intox. She's under the influence of alcohol tremendously. And she's been kicking and screaming and yelling. I'm in cuffs. Come on the f out. Y'all, y'all scared of, of a tiny little 120-pound girl in cuffs? That's funny. You can call my lawyer. I'll be happy to talk to all your hoes. I'm gonna ask this medical question. You can answer? No. They call me sunshine up in this bitch. I gotta put a lighter and some change. My husband has been being an ass all night. He t he took everything from me. He took my keys. He took my phone. He took my cigarettes. He took everything. Now I'm in jail. Ten four. Did y'all get into big old fight? Uh, we get in a big old f fight every day because he's a f drunk. F I don't deserve this. I didn't do anything wrong, but come home. And then you bitches showed up with handcuffs and you can't even get the cuffs off that's glorious because you're not a cop because you're a bitch y'all should know me by now they call me sunshine enjoy it all right let's start walking yeah. slowly walk faster than okay listen i need you to walk slowly for me okay then walk with me, bitch. I am walking with you, so walk slow. Uh, yeah, you're trying to hold me down and then tell me to walk slow, bitch. You want me to move? Move. Move me. Because I'm not scared of you. I don't care about you or any other hoe in this bitch. All right. All y'all, let go. Thank you. You want the cuffs off? You want the cuffs off? You want the cuffs off or no? Do you want them off or not? Okay, have a nice night. What, what happened? Like we got sent over there for a family fight. Her husband called saying the wife was came home drunk and being disruptive. Hey, you have any we show up, husband's outside. Mr. He like said, my wife just got home. She's raising hell. Can you do something to help us? We go inside. She's very belligerent and upset. And she's like, I got a warrant for my arrest. Yep. Take uh -huh. me to jail. Put her in handcuffs and secured her in the car. She started kicking and screaming and yelling. And I had uh, Officer Williams follow me her out here. Her husband also was like, hey, here, she has a warrant. Take her to jail. I don't want her in my house. Yes. He needed a vacation from her, he said that. Is that what he said? That's what he said. I need a vacation from her so I won't bond her out and she can sit here and think about what she did tonight. Well, what is, what's the charge the warrant for? Yeah. It's just for public intoxication. The warrant from? For, yeah, it's, it's just one local. Oh, is that out of here? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you Uh, she's slipped a cuff, and that could be a weapon, so we're gonna get the cuffs off. The inmate prior that was in there got sandwiches, and those are the plastic baggies. Those came in. All right, guys, let's go get her. Put your hands through. You are not gonna get charged with nothing. All right, get your hands in. All the way in. Put your hands in. I will tase you if you don't put your hands in. I didn't put these in one back in here and they're in here. And now I'm not. 
All right. Face the wall. Who's got a taser? I do. Face our honor. Keep it. Put your hands and leave them right there. Don't move. Face the wall. Not the window. Hands up to get your, to get that whatever that is out of here. It was I didn't do that. Food. I don't care. It's in my bag in my cell. And I ain't having that. She's freaking out, thinking that we're gonna charge her for drugs. And that was what it was. It was food. Amy, have you ever been here before? Yep, you remember me. What happened last night? Mm. Well, me and my husband got into a huge fight, and he let, well, I went outside, and he took off with my phone and my credit card and my ID. And I look like I'm a 12-year-old, so IDs come in handy. Did you hit the bar up? Well, yeah, but I mean, I wasn't white girl wasted for sure. Not that <laughs> Maybe close. like two shots of gin dressed, two yellow bellies, that's it. I drink like a man. OK, Amy, today you're here for a warrant for a public intoxication. Mm -hmm. And it's your only charge. You can get your step around this counter. Talk about crazy. But I didn't kick any of y'all, so I think I did good this time. That's always a good day right there. Right? Nobody got kicked in the face. Is this going to be the last time you're going to come see us, Amy? Hopefully. Well, I don't want to see you here again. I don't want to see you again. But I appreciate you being nice to me today. Yeah, hey, I'll try. All right, just have a seat, Amy. Girl side? Yes, ma'am. She just needs to take care of her ticket and hopefully not see us again. Born and raised in El Paso. Uh, after graduating high school, went to the military. It's nice living in the border. You know, having both cultures, you know, Mexican culture, come over here, American culture. It's a great place to live. How long have you been here, Officer Miller? I've been here uh, two years. Once upon a time, I was probably this close to being in your shoes. Really? Yeah. And what happened? What happened there? Uh, I took I, I took a left turn in Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah. Should have never did it. Wow. No, I was gonna be a correction officer. What are you here for, man? Uh, failure of ID and a parole violation. A parole violation? Yeah. What were you on parole for, man? Stolen vehicle out of Midland. So you stole a vehicle, man? No, I didn't steal a vehicle. My girlfriend did. And you were blamed for it? We both were. Collective possession. How long were you out before you got rearrested again today, man? Uh, Two and a half months. Two and a half months? Yes, I, I, I did it up myself. I left the halfway house. You left the halfway house? Yeah, purposely. Why? Because everybody's out there getting drunk, getting high. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm trying to change my life and the situation I was no, in no, was not enabling me to do that. I chose to come back to jail than to keep myself in that position. I got nine months of parole. I'd much rather do a lockup than be out there. It's bad out there. It's bad. Yeah. I'd just rather be here, do the time, get out free. Yeah. I told my parole officer I was leaving. The old saying says if you know, if you're big enough to do it, then do what comes with it. Yeah. What are you going to do after we get out, man? I'll probably go back to Michigan. My folks are in Michigan. Michigan. My mom and dad live up there. Just want to go to Michigan, get away from everything. No, I, I love Texas. Don't get me wrong, man. I love the state of Texas. If you're doing the right thing in life, this is probably the greatest state to live in. But if you're doing the wrong thing, obviously, you see where you end up. Yeah. Or if you choose to do the wrong thing, then that's where you end up. And book right. me. We're going to finish processing you here, man. If you go down there, I, I can get a sack lunch. Once, once you're done here, we'll, we'll feed you. Awesome. Make sure you get some meat. So you were trying to be a correction officer before? At one point in time, I wanted to be. Yeah. All my cousins are correction officers. Where, in Michigan? Yeah. My sister's a police officer. Oh, really? Wow. And you just went the wrong way. Took, took wrong the wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> took the wrong turn in Albuquerque. All right, well, hopefully you do good, man. Come on in here, man. We'll finish your process. I'll we'll get you going, all right, man? So this guy, you know, it looks like he, he really does want to change. So hopefully he gets his life together. 
got a parole violation. <sighs> You're not parole? No. Are you, have you been to prison? Yeah. Already discharged. What was it for, man? For a theft over 20,000. A jewelry store. Man. I got like 50 grand. A out. jewelry store? So, and how long did they give you for, man? Two years. Two years? Yeah, I did all my time. I think uh, within a couple of days, you see a, a parole officer and they'll come talk to you. We got your warrant and yeah, they want crazy. you, man. It's really, really crazy. So, the jewelry store? Which one was it, man? Uh -huh. I forgot the name of the jewelry store, but me and my friend, we set it up for a couple months and then we hit it during the daytime when they went to lunch. As soon as they went to lunch, one of them, he's, she stayed back, it was a girl who stayed back, and we ran in there. And she's like, oh, well, right now we're kind of closing all that, but we went with ski mask, you know? So she, right away she kind of, she freaked out a little bit. So right away we pulled her at gunpoint and everything, got her, made her get down her knees, tied her up, got her everything. We, we left it completely almost empty. We didn't tell nobody about it, but one day they got, they got him first. I was like, oh man, he better not say nothing about it. A couple of weeks later, they went and picked me up. Yeah. So he was the one that snitched on me. That's why you got You can't trust nobody, you know? We're good for a good minute. We're straight. Yeah. Living good, eating good. We're partying, doing everything. Did you see, did you see all the story in the news? Yeah. What, what do you think about it, man? I laughed about it. You laughed about it? Yeah. Do you plan on changing? What, what do you think, man? What do you want to do, man? Right now, I'm facing, I got some other charges pending. I got three aggravated assaults with a deadly weapon pending. They're going to hit me with some time after that. But after that, when I get out, and I haven't changed since I was 13 years old, why change now? You don't grind, you don't eat. You got to do whatever you got to do to eat. If I have to rob somebody, I'm going to rob them. That's all I know. I'm going to do the prints on the computer, man. Then after that, I'll take you to your floor. And then just, I guess you just wait till uh, they come over here and talk to you, man. Bad follows you. The bad follows me everywhere I go. So regardless of what the outcome is, you still want to continue your lifestyle? Yeah. You love this life, man? This, this life, I don't like being in jail, but I love the thug life, the gang banging and all that stuff, drugs, party, the girls. That's what you like, man? That's what I love. All right, man. Yeah. Hopefully the thing works out for you, man. Hopefully. We'll see, hopefully come talk to you soon and then not. Uh... It should be straight. I'm not even on parole. I'm telling you some crazy things, man. All right, man. We'll see you. He's living the uh, life of the streets. I mean, he doesn't look like he's going to change his ways. He doesn't like being here, but I mean, unfortunately, the way he's living, he's going to end up coming back over and over. first female in my family actually to be in law enforcement. I've always wanted to work and serve my community actually because I live here and I love living here so if I can at least take care of that, I know I've done my job for the day. We responded to a disturbance. The sister was calling. He was dispute with the father. Mm -hmm. We caught up to a family, and that's where he was hiding under a vehicle. So we had him handcuffed there. Mm -hmm. So we told him where he was under arrest for PI. At the time, he told me he wasn't on any drugs. He had only one beer. Mm -hmm. The family was saying that he was uh, possibly on spice. Okay. We didn't find anything, so we, that's what we were arresting for the public intoxication. Put your shirt on. Are you okay? Don't fall over, man. Don't fall over. Oscar, what? Yes. I just probably like eight bars. Hit bars. Okay. And, and that's it, or you're smoking or something else, or just so I can let my medical know what, what, what else did you do? What else did you do? Anything else? Smoke pies, uh, I smoke just bars. I smoke spice. You smoke pies also? How long? Like right before I came in. Right before you came in? Just sit down, sir. Take a seat. Okay? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Watch you sit down so you don't fall down. Oh, just take a seat. Sit down. There you go. You're making a unit. No, 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 no. We're just waiting on the nurse to come check. He said he took like eight bars. Right now. Took a pill. That's it, man. How many? Just like one and a half. What was it? Is that any Look, man. I just want to peel. If I don't see him, I'm going to be like, oh, what's up? So, how many do you take per day? More or less? Like six. 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 Oh, you're, 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 still, like you're still under the influence, okay? We can tell by your pupils, Man, all right? I've popped you since I was like 11 years old. You didn't think how I feel? I'm gonna talk to the officer real quick and take your vitals, okay? Put your hand behind your back, man. Man, I ain't gonna do okay. Regardless, okay. man. We're not gonna Just tell you one more okay. time, all right? Okay. We're not gonna tell you one more time. Look. Keep your hands behind your look. back. I won't Simple go back. That. That's a threat. No, it's not a threat. No. Yes, it is. It's no, an it's order, not. Sir. It's an I'm giving you an order. I'm giving you an order. Keep your hands back. Oscar, they're doing my orders. Put your hand behind your back. 
Let me check your vitals. Check your blood pressure first. Give you, 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 none of you have the right to touch you. Um, listen, okay, listen, listen. If, if I were to touch you, you, need to, you need to relax. Relax. Emma, you, relax. you can't touch me. Relax. 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 So just get your blood pressure. Okay? Man, I'm relaxing. I'm talking. Just wait. Try not wait to talk. Then. Hold on. Okay. Let's get your blood pressure. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. So just 15 minute observation. Okay. Just leave him on the clothes for now, because he's knocked out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oscar. Mm -hmm. You want a sandwich? Yeah. Yeah? Give yeah, give me a few, okay? Right. We'll be right okay? back. We'll be right back. Okay, you'll call your mom right now. You're here for public intoxication. That's it. I'm surprised he's still awake. He's here for public intoxication, and all he has to pay is 167 to go up. He's vomited. He's vomited. Oscar, call the nurse. Uh, LBI Rick. Oscar. Where's Rick? Call hey. You want a little bit of water? Hey, wake up. Oscar. Oscar. Make sure to call EMS and ATM. Tell LT about the EMS. Oscar. Talk to us, Oscar. 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 Talk to us, brother. Keep looking at us, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Push it, push it more in, push it more in. Push the, push it more in. Hey. Wake up, Oscar. Oscar, wake up, Oscar. What's your girlfriend's name? Destiny. Destiny, how long have you been with Destiny? A year, please. Please, right now, I just want to say bye to her. Why do you want to say bye? Yeah. You have to live for your for your mom and your dad and your girlfriend and your brother and your sister, OK? Yeah. Stay awake, Oscar. Come on, wake up. Hold on, Oscar. Where am I? You're in county. Ma'am, I want to see my girlfriend. Please. You will see your girlfriend right now, Oscar. We're going to go get take you to get better. Uh, so what happened when I got here? We were getting him assessed with the nurse. So I put him on an observation, and then the guard's like, no, ma'am, he, he threw up. So we take him on a triage and stretcher for overdose. Once he gets up medically cleared, he'll, he'll be uh, transported back to the jail, and he'll be booked for the BI. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank the inmate back from the hospital. Um, he just got back. He was treated over there for uh, being uh, under the influence of uh, narcotics. He came in pretty messed up. They treated him, now he's back. And we're gonna see how he's doing. Okay, I was informed that you had consumed uh, certain drugs. Yes, sir. Yes. Could you tell me uh, why'd you do that? I started doing this since I was 12 years old. How old are you now? I'm 20. I was introduced to in school. My friends had something and they offered me, they offered me and I told them no. They came back again and I started thinking about it and I tried it and I couldn't stop no more. And what was that drug that they offered you? Uh, it was a Spice K2. The whole time I overdosed already seven times. It, it appears that you yourself are, are, are just asking for help. You're tired of it yourself. I'm trying to stop right now because I, my little brother is growing up and I don't want to see him the same as me. Has he, has he witnessed you doing sir, drugs? Sir, he, uh, he witnessed him when I overdosed. How do you think that affected him? Sir, he's the worst thing ever. And I see my little brother crying and crying, thinking that I was thinking thinking that I was gonna be gone and never come back. You are aware of the repercussions that your drug use yes, sir. has caused. You're aware of that. <laughs> you have a what? My baby died with that drug I've been using. Say again. My girlfriend was pregnant and. Uh, she died because of the baby died because of me. So you lost your child. I'm sorry to hear that. So, so you're you already. It's already caused one life. It don't need to cost two more lives. You would have had a family. You would have had a little boy. Why? You know your little brother. You would have had that. That's worth more than anything else. Have you set yourself up a plan? I just want to hook my mom. Short-term goals, that's all. And if it's one day at a time, it's one day at a time. Then you envision 
you know, what you want to be, where you want to be in six months. And then you take it from there. And you go a little further. You go a year. Then you go five years. Okay? Yes, Before we release you, I'm going to talk to you again yes, and see what you come up with. Okay, because I don't want to see you here in jail again. Yes, Especially sir. now that you told me you got a little brother that looks up to you. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, hands behind your back. All right, All right. Just appreciate that a lot. You got it. Go ahead and secure detox one, secure detox one. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids.